How you do? This is by you here. I, I got four items real quick on you. Uh, the U.S. Navy and the commander the tweeter. <laughs> now they have a second investigation to see who leaked the memo. That's not the point. The point is that the naval, the Navy admiral that deal with planning the tap hancho has no problem restating the captain, Cossier. But now the president, you know, talk crap about him and then the ex Navy secretary is out. He resigned because the uh, Democrats were going to chew him now and, and the spirit given to the dog because you don't call, uh, you don't talk down in front of military a commander. You don't do that. Lucky he didn't get his brain blown up. Then again, stupid people, you know. Uh, that's why he resigned right after four years. You couldn't hack it. Okay, uh, second team. I told you so. <laughs> Mexico now has become an enemy. Not the people, not the country, but the administration. Uh, the uh, AMLO, the president, filed criminal charges on fraud, tax fraud. I mean, they changed the law. It is perfectly legal to nail somebody that do not pay taxes in Mexico now. See, it's left-wing government, guys. This is the different U.S. left-wing brainwash people over here and, and the left around the world. Walmart. Uh, Mexico Walmart, uh, Central America Walmart is run by uh, somebody from Brazil. He got a Ph.D. in economics, but he's a weasel. That's why he started from the bottom. He went all the way to the top. So he will be doing some time in Mexican jail, huh? real jail. Uh, so now uh, that has caused the uh, Mexican IRS, City uh, Echo, I think it's called in Espanol, uh, everybody to run and make coordination and make first payments on the uh, taxes that uh, the top 15 first owe. Believe it or not, it's like, oh, what happened over here? Everybody want to want to pay taxes now? Yeah, now you become a criminal, especially if you know you owe taxes that you don't pay. They not complain again. That's <laughs> they not complain again. That's not played any longer in Mexico. Uh, Walmart owns the Mexican government twenty thousand million pesos. I was trying to figure it out with the computer, but the number is so big. Just calculate a, a million divided by twenty-five and give you an idea. Uh, okay, um, uh, DHL USA. Sorry to tell you, but you suck. Uh, German DHL, outstanding. I bought a package, a Ruski package. We know, we know how lot of you know army little toys. I like the Russian uh, copy of the uh, German Mesquite, the silverware. So I bought one of those about eight dollars. Uh, 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 a nice looking box and. Um, Sewing kit, soldier sewing kit, rushing, you know, hey, hey I was a soldier, so I want to play with it, you know, so it's my toy, it's a little bit of money. That was about $2 or $1.99. Uh, and, uh, uh, a pack, a uh, Russian pack that is coming, um, uh, uh, DVD, DVD, uh, uh, um, hat, but they don't call it hat, it's like Boina in Spanish, uh, what the army uses now, U.S. Army. What's the name? Beret. The, the beret, that's the French beret. Uh, light blue, we are colored. Um, I, I lost my Russian hat, I went to the barber. Excuse me, but the barber is closed, I cannot get it. I don't even know if it's there, so I got another one. And, uh, oh, and the, uh, sorry, that's that interaction too. That is a shovel, the, the typical uh, Russian shovel since World War II. Uh, it was real cheap too, uh, eight bucks. Over here it's about 30, 35 bucks. So uh, the store, uh, Grayson, uh, it took about two hours, two and a half hours, and 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 it was delivered to the jail. Physically walked through the jail staff, and then the guy, uh, he, he called me Conrad. The package has been delivered, and he's a paperwork. It's like outstanding, man. And then the, uh, that happened on Friday, actually. Uh, 12.53 p.m. and 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 reading the DHL uh, USA website. So for Friday, I guess the uh, uh, Russian custom took the day off. They didn't do much, but on Monday, um, 
around uh, 10, uh, 1053, the, uh, the package left uh, Moscow region, uh, the Russian Federation at 1035 p.m., excuse me, and it got to Leipzig. Now, Leipzig used to be East Germany, now it's part of uh, the whole Germany. And then um, I got there on Tuesday, uh, 1.47 a.m., and then um, left Leipzig to, uh, to the U.S., Cincinnati, Hub, and Ohio, and he, and, and he left the customer at 4 1 in the morning. So he left Germany at 5.33, Germany time, and then he got here at 4 1 in the morning. Clear customer fact. However, to my surprise, these idiots uh, sent the package to the wrong facility. It says in Dallas. That was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. I still don't have any package. So I cannot show you my new toy, guys. Uh, I mean, the uh, DHL rushes like the typical German. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I got to the USA. Holy hell. How the hell you send it to the wrong, to the wrong, uh, arrive uh, at delivery facility in Dallas, USA, Shinmen arrive incorrect facility, sent to correct destination. So they, they arrive at 9 a.m. at 1123, it was uh, shipped to the new, uh, the correct destination, that was yesterday. Today it is uh, 737 a.m. DHL, USA, you sucks. You're worse than uh, FedEx. Next time, I'm not. If the Germans don't apologize and kiss my behind, that's it. No more business. I go Ruski uh, uh, post, uh, post here. And remember in my video, I told you a long time ago, somehow uh, when I paid with PayPal, the address went to South America, and then South American um, uh, post office circled the address, USA, Texas, and make a little arrow and put it in English, by the way, read and send it right back to New York. The idiots in New York. I don't know what the problem is with the USA post office or the people that work in the USA dealing with package. I guess they don't know how to read or they don't want to read. Or oh, I don't know what the problem is, but you guys screwed up. Okay, um, so we talk about the Navy, we talk about uh, uh, DHL, we talk about the. Uh, uh, you know, I confirmed about the deal in Mexico, and uh, let's talk a little bit about this problem that we have in uh, with meat and the package industry. Uh, I did not know that we only have 15 um, small Mickey Mouse, medium, and large uh, uh, meat packaging company. I know we have one here in, da in, in, in Dallas in the Metroplex, and it was shut down because uh, one of the workers got sick and died, and then. The, uh, they close it down because the companies are not giving the uh, employees gloves. And how the hell are they working meat and not have gloves and face mask? I mean, you know, just saliva and, and, and breath and they're working with meat and they have no protection to begin with. And, and this is when I laugh at the, at the stupids over here, Ooh, you know, the stuff. We don't have that kind of issue in, in, in banana countries. We don't. Only this issue are in, 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 in first world countries. Explain that to me slowly because I don't understand. No complaint, no kind of deal. So now the president gave the order. No, you have to open. Gee, I talk about dictatorship. <laughs> and then how the hell are you going to tell management open if the worker says, nope, we're not going to get there unless you give me the safety equipment. It makes sense, you know. Not, I, I, I cannot... Uh, I cannot... Uh, uh, talk down to them or complain about them because hey, life is more important than profit, guy, okay? And by the way, I know I gave you the numbers a long time ago. Uh, let me give you the numbers as of Thursday, 7.39, April 30th. Uh, USA, you got 1,064,000 total cases, contaminated people. Uh, total death is 61,670. Uh, the second country or the second rounded up is Italy with 27, less than 50% or less than half. Uh, France and Spain are hitting each other, 24,275, that's for Spain. France, 24,087. But guess what? The UK just beat them. Uh huh. Uh huh. I guess it's a problem with the uh, English speaking country, the Five Sisters. You know the five sisters. 
UK, Canada, US, Australia, New Zealand. The five sisters or the five eyes or crap like that, I don't know. And oh, Italy, ha I mean, excuse me, not my cousin, Italian cousin. Um, Australia speaking of China to the point that the Chinese already responded, uh, you need to behave or we're going to put a, a restriction on travel. And I did not know that Chinese students represent $12 billion in business in universities in Australia. The Chinese are getting educated. Okay, guys, short and sweet. As soon as uh, uh, DHL USA, DHL get my package out of there behind and deliver it to my door. Oh, by the way, it wasn't that cheap. 75 bucks is not cheap. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the package. Maybe I do an opening. You know, a little bit of toys. So, uh, thank you for your new subscriber. Finally, we reached uh, 600. And then, uh, as soon as the stuff gets here, I'll come back and show you the guy. Behave. Stay at home. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye.